And now, with regard to the release of political prisoners, I was told very recently by a government minister that they were studying these different lists and uh, preparing to release all remaining prisoners, political prisoners. So it's a matter of definition. How do you uh, define a political prisoner? Our list is based on those who are actually in prison, whom we know to be in prison for political reasons. But I, by, I understand that in some uh, lists are included those who were detained while illegally crossing the border. Now, with those who are caught illegally crossing the border, we do make a uh, we do differentiate between those who are crossing it for political reasons, either because they were trying to avoid uh, arrest for their political activities, or whether they had been involved in some kind of political causes with some. Uh, which are given over the border. But there are some who, uh, who hold that all those caught crossing the border illegally should be deemed prisoners of conscience because it is due to conditions, political conditions within the country that they are forced to cross the border even for economic reasons. So th there is a difference in how we approach uh, the, uh, the, the, the problem. We have to come to some kind of compromise, I think. We have to come to some kind of consensus on whom we should uh, deem a prisoner of conscience. So we understand that there will be a big release soon, and I very much look forward to it. And let's find out whether it's really big and whether it includes all those whom we think are still in prison for their political activities and for their beliefs. <laughs>